weather aware. Good evening to you. I'm Dion Guillory and I'm John Burns. Thank you for joining us for NBC Local 33 News at 6. Well, the rain seems to have no end in sight today as the heavy stuff continues to fall across South Louisiana. Yeah, the heavy rain is causing flooding issues across the area and we're seeing lots of pictures of it. Our teams are out there, but first we want to start off with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel with a close look at the slow moving storm. Jesse. Yeah, again, right now, here's the very latest. There is an actual end in sight. It may take another hour to two hours. That's the, the best news that we've probably had all day. However, until that point, we're going to continue to see a lot of heavy rainfall. And as you notice towards the tail end here, we're starting to see what we call backfill. A lot of these storms are starting to kind of fill the gaps a little bit, and that's going to continue to be some intense rainfall. That rain threat is also slowly inching its way southward, a little bit closer to Assumption, Ascension, and even a little bit in to the New Orleans area at this point, but the concern right now and it's going to continue to be a big time threat going into the evening hours is flash flooding for East Baton Rouge and surrounding areas. Ascension, East Baton Rouge, Iberville, Livingston underneath a flash flood warning until seven o'clock this evening, meaning that we've already seen a lot of uh, flooded roadways out there. A lot of roads closed at this point and the list is so long. You just need to go to our website, brproud.com obviously for that complete list. Again, just so many roads right now under the gun at this point. Also, we're starting to see a lot of runoff, still expecting some additional rainfall out there. So East Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, Livingston and St. Helena, a little bit further north, but they've extended that flash flood warning in effect until 1045 this evening. The concern is going to be runoff going into a lot of our local streams and bayous. And then right now it looks like the Amy near Dunham Springs expected to get to minor flooding heading into tomorrow. Same thing with the co meet and same thing with the tick at this point. So as you see here a little bit further east underneath that flash flood warning in effect until 630 this evening. I also want to point out just showing you this line I drew about three to four hours ago. Notice how that line has barely inched southward. We're going to continue to see a bunch more rain and we're going to talk more and have a look at your future cast because because this is not nearly anywhere done. In fact, we've got maybe done with kind of wrapping up with this round, but we've got a couple more rounds ahead of us as we head into Mother's Day weekend, and we'll talk about that shortly. All right, and we're